We just made this mason jar centerpiece with some quick change accents and there was definitely fire involved. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. If you like to do a builder to make it a great, and that's what we do on this channel every week. This week, we're making an all season mason jar centerpiece. You're gonna have swappable pieces. And we're setting it on fire. Yeah, he's very much looking forward to that. That was his idea. <laughs> yep, we're doing that fire stain thing. Step one! We're gonna build a box that we're gonna set on fire. Our box is going to be the width of four mason jars. We're using four this time. And that dimension is? Four jars wide, 16 inches. 16 inches wide or long? Wide. Wide, and then how deep? Oh, oh. whatever the depth of the mason jar is, which? Whatever this one by six was. I found a scrap one by six. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna glue it and pin it. Gonna use a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. Maybe I'll do the sides first. I take it back, I'm doing the sides first. <laughs> box not too deep not too shallow just right you ready to go light it on fire <laughs> let's go <laughs> and we're gonna go down and paint our mason jars we're going to use some chalk spray paint oh we're gonna use some chalk spray paint to make it easier all right tell me what you're gonna do all right I got my trusty burns matic and we're just gonna flame kiss the wood. <laughs> Give a little kiss with the flame. <laughs> Watch your hand. Huh? Watch your hand. And why are we doing this? Getting that good cushiony. I don't know what it's called. Oops. Oh my. To make the green pop. Yeah. Say anything to the camera? Yeah, I'm just about out of gas. <laughs> Little chalky finish. Spray my jars. How often do I say that? Alright, that's what we got so far. I'm gonna hit it with some sandpaper, knock down some of the really dark areas. And um, by that he means the burnt areas. <laughs> potato, potato. Yeah, it's just looking more antique. 
looking more antique. Working on an aging process. Are we going to stain it now? Yes. I'm going to add a coat of this Varathane Briar Smoke. We use this a lot. I really debated on using this color or Jacobean. But I decided this has that more country look. We'll see how it looks with the yeah, char. Yeah, I want to see what it looks like with the char. This side is where it's going to pop. Be like, oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Tag me in. I'm in. <laughs> All right, that's what we got so far. Well, that's our box. It's a good box. <laughs> it's a good box. That'll do, box. That'll do. Step five. We're gonna distress our drawers. We're gonna make them all. Uh, Old looking. Yep, we spray painted them with that chalk, chalky finish spray paint, and now we just need to distress them. Coming in with a little bit of 220 sandpaper. Is it the most like, what do you have? That's what I have. God. Can't really tell yeah, from there. Really tell. <laughs> we'll show you up close. Now I've got chalk dust everywhere. Step six. It's time to add the accents and the handle. We're gonna add a handle and some accents and decorations to the mason jars. I'm right. on handle duty. I'm handling it. Yes, let me show you. So we were at Target and came across these. Um, Hearth in the Hand. Yes, the Magnolia brand Hearth and Hand handles. Clearance. Chip and go at Joanna Gaines. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, they're really cute and they were on clearance. So we grabbed a couple of them for this box. Yeah, so that's what the handle looks like. I'm gonna drill a little hole in the side of the box. Well, four holes. Yeah, they have these little stems on the back. Oh, I have something in my eye, sorry. <laughs> it's all that choke dust. They have these little stems on the back, so they have to be inset into the wood. But that's no challenge because I really want them. So Garrett's gonna drill a couple holes in the side of the box and we're just gonna insert them. And since the screws are meant for a drawer pull, we're just gonna glue them in. We're gonna use this crazy Gorilla Glue, which was here a moment ago, and glue them right in. Gorilla Glue. I don't even need Gorilla Glue. Ugh. All right, that's what we got. One side. Hold it, hold it right so they can see. He always likes to turn it sideways. <laughs> trying to get shadow shots. learning to play the flute. Were you Me practicing too. Your... <laughs> I was. I was practicing the flute too. I was... It's really hard to blow it that so thing. It is so hard to play the flute. I, I 
was like, give me that thing, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Not a flute player. <laughs> Alright, that is in there. That's what we got so far. Alright, we're gonna put some jute on the jars. We're gonna make them jute jars. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> there you go. Greenery. All right, wait, no, nope. that's for last. So Garrett was giving me a hard time. He says, what are you making, sweaters for our little jars? But yes, kind of. I want to make these tiny sweaters, replaceable ribbon so I'm going to can you see that I'm going to add the ribbon and add a little bit of velcro like snaps for the back so that I can change them out for the seasons spring Halloween yeah do the Christmas one that'll be a good one so let me see what do we need we need about whatever this is yeah unfold that you need that unfold so, 15, 15 inches. 15 inches. 15 inches. All right, so these have adhesive on the back. May not stay. I might have to replace that over time. Like glue them on or sew them on, but we're gonna try the adhesive that they come with. So I just put one on the end and I'm just going to wrap it around. Cute, right? Yeah, it looks cute. Oh, it is cute. And the little Velcro piece, pretty hidden, can't really tell. Swap them out. Yep. So let me make let me make this one. Oh, they all look so warm. <laughs> hey, it worked. Watch. Yes, it says give Quick it 20, 24 hours for the glue to really set up. Quick change. We make a lot of quick change stuff on this channel. <laughs> If you like quick change stuff, go ahead and subscribe because we <laughs> quick change all the time. Okay. There they are with their little sweaters on. Oh, they look so cozy. And then here you go. Oh, give me some of these bushes. <laughs> we bought some bushes to go in the tops. Put them down in there. They fit. We're gonna add a piece of vinyl. Let me take these out. Cut out a piece of vinyl on the Cricut. Made a little sticker. A yes. little sticker. So I decided just to add the vinyl right to the wood so that I could change the word later if I wanted to. At least that's my plan. There we go. Garrett fixed that. Oh. You're so fancy. If you like this week's video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. I said smash. And don't forget to tick that bell to be notified of our new video each week because we do this thing every week. And until next week, you can check out something over here. Like one of these over here, top or bottom. Both are good and we'll see you next week.